Greetings everyone, and welcome to My Face Beauty and Stylist Academy. A place where we turn your passion for beauty into a rewarding career. We're your one-stop destination for mastering all things beauty and style. Our doors are now open for weekly intensive beauty tutorials, where you'll get the chance to learn and grow. Here, you're not just another face in the crowd, you'll get individual attention with one-on-one -on -one sessions with our senior beauticians. From the basic strokes of a makeup brush to the intricate art of styling, we provide a comprehensive learning experience. Whether you're a budding makeup artist or a beauty enthusiast looking to up your game, we've got you covered. So get ready to master the basics of beauty and styling with us. Before we start dabbling with colors and brushes, we must first learn about the importance of cleanliness in our profession. Now this doesn't simply mean keeping our workspace tidy, it goes far beyond that. It's about ensuring every tool and piece of equipment we use is immaculate and safe. Let's start with our cleaning procedures. We have both dry and wet techniques, each serving a specific purpose. Dry techniques like dusting or wiping are perfect for tools like brushes and combs. Wet techniques, on the other hand, involve using water and disinfectants. These are ideal for more robust equipment such as scissors, razors and clippers. Now you might wonder, why all this fuss about cleanliness? Well, remember we are working in a field where our tools come in direct contact with our client's skin and hair. Any lapse in cleanliness can lead to infections or cross-contamination. Moreover, a clean tool performs better, ensuring the best possible results for our clients. Portable and wall dryers, blow dryers, these too need regular cleaning. Dust and product residue can build up in these devices over time, hampering their efficiency. Regular cleaning ensures they function at their best, providing us with the optimal temperature and airflow for each job. In the beauty industry, cleanliness is not just a good practice, it's a responsibility. It's about safeguarding our health and that of our clients, maintaining the longevity of our tools, and delivering the best possible services. So next time when you pick up a brush or turn on your hairdryer, take a moment. Consider when was the last time you cleaned it. If you can't remember, it's probably time to give it a good cleanse. Remember, a clean tool is a happy tool, and a happy tool creates beautiful results. Now that our tools are clean and ready, let's talk about the stars of our show, the makeup products. First on our list, we have the foundation. This product is your canvas, providing a smooth and even surface to work on. It comes in various shades to match different skin tones. Always remember to clean the nozzle after use and keep it away from direct sunlight to prolong its shelf life, which is typically one to two years. Next up, we have the concealer. This magic wand helps in hiding blemishes and under eye circles, giving you a flawless look. Its maintenance is similar to the foundation, and it has a shelf life of about one year. Third, we have the blush. It's used to give your cheeks a rosy glow. Always ensure that your blush brush is clean before dipping into the product. The shelf life of a blush is about two years. Fourth, we have the eyeshadow palette. It comes in an array of colors to create different looks. To maintain its quality, avoid using wet brushes directly on the palette. Eyeshadows can last up to two years. Fifth, we have the eyeliner. This product is used to define the eyes. Never share your eyeliner with anyone to avoid eye infections. An eyeliner typically lasts six months to a year. Sixth, we have the mascara. This product enhances your lashes. Remember to replace your mascara every three to four months to avoid eye infections. Seventh, we have the eyebrow pencil. This product is used to fill in and shape the eyebrows. An eyebrow pencil can last up to two years. Eighth, we have the lip liner. This product is used to outline the lips. A lip liner can last up to two years if properly capped after use. Ninth, we have the lipstick. This product adds color to your lips. A lipstick can last up to two years. And finally, tenth, we have the setting spray. This product is used to set your makeup, helping it last longer. A setting spray can last up to two years. Knowing your products inside out will not only help you create stunning looks, but also ensure the longevity of your tools and the safety of your clients. Did you know that some beauty tools and products are designed to be used only once? Let's learn more about them. First off, we have mascara wands. These little tools are a breeding ground for bacteria, especially when used on multiple clients. To maintain high hygiene standards, 
it's essential to use a fresh wand for each client and dispose of it after use. This practice not only prevents the spread of eye infections, but also ensures the product remains uncontaminated. Next up, we have disposable lip brushes. Just like mascara wands, lip brushes come into direct contact with mucous membranes, making them a potential source of cross-contamination. By using a new brush for each client, you can help maintain a safe and hygienic environment in your beauty studio. Finally, let's talk about single-use latex gloves. These are a must-have for any beauty professional. Not only do they protect your hands from harsh products, but they also prevent the spread of bacteria and viruses between you and your client. Remember, each pair of gloves should be used for one client only, and then disposed of properly. But why is it so important to dispose of these items after a single use? Well, reusing these tools can lead to cross-contamination, spreading bacteria, viruses, and even fungal infections. In the beauty industry, where we work so closely with our clients, maintaining a high level of hygiene is not just a professional standard, it's a responsibility. So remember, when it comes to these single-use items, one-time use means one-time use, no exceptions. Our clients trust us with their beauty, and it's our duty to ensure their safety and comfort during each session. In the world of beauty and styling, hygiene isn't just a courtesy, it's a necessity. When we talk about hygiene, we are referring to the practices that help maintain health and prevent the spread of diseases. In a beauty studio, this means being diligent about cleanliness, not just in the space around us, but with every tool we touch and every product we use. It's about wearing gloves when necessary, donning a face mask to prevent the spread of airborne particles, and ensuring that every tool we use on a client has either been thoroughly cleaned or is brand new. But maintaining hygiene isn't just about what we do behind the scenes, it's also about making our clients aware of our practices. Transparency builds trust, and trust is the foundation of any successful client-stylist relationship. When you welcome a client into your chair, let them know about your hygiene practices. Show them the new brush you're using or tell them that the scissors have been sterilized. If you're wearing gloves or a mask, explain why it's necessary. These small acts of communication can make a big difference in a client's comfort level. Remember, it's not just about making them look good, but also about making them feel good. This means creating an environment where they feel safe and cared for. And let's not forget about ourselves. As stylists, we're also at risk. By following proper hygiene practices, we're not just protecting our clients, but also ourselves. So, whether you're a seasoned stylist or a beginner in the beauty industry, take hygiene seriously, make it a part of your daily routine, embrace it as one of the most important aspects of your work. With these practices in place, you can ensure a safe and comfortable experience for your clients. Now, let's talk about the importance of having a clean and sanitized studio. It's easy to overlook this aspect, especially when you're focused on mastering the art of beauty and style. However, maintaining a spotless workspace is just as crucial as honing your skills. You see, in the beauty industry, our studios are not just places where we create magic. They are also spaces where we ensure the health and safety of our clients. It's a place where trust is built, and nothing spells trust more than a well-maintained, clean studio. So, where do we start? Well, every piece of equipment you use should be in top condition. That includes everything from your brushes and combs to your card swiping machine. Yes, you heard it right. Even your card swiping machine. It's a small detail, but it's these small details that can make a big difference. Now, onto the studio itself. It might seem like a daunting task, but sanitizing your studio corner to corner is a non-negotiable. Think about it. Your clients are entrusting their personal grooming to you. They deserve to know that they're in a space where hygiene is a priority. But remember, this is not just about meeting professional standards. It's about showing respect. Respect for your craft, for your tools, and most importantly, for your clients. They are the reason we do what we do, and they deserve nothing less than our best. So, let's make a commitment today. A commitment to cleanliness, to hygiene, and to excellence. Because in the world of beauty and style, cleanliness is not just next to godliness, it's at the heart of everything we do. Remember, a clean studio is not just a professional requirement, it's a mark of respect for your craft and your clients. 
And that's a wrap for today's session, folks. We hope you've gained some valuable insights. Taking a moment to look back, we started with the importance of cleaning procedures. Remember, your tools are your best friends. Treat them with love and care, using both dry and wet techniques as required. Brushes, combs, scissors, razors, clippers, portable and wall dryers, blow dryers. Each of these requires a different method of cleaning. We then moved on to the world of products. Understanding the function, maintenance, and shelf life of each item in your beauty arsenal is crucial. My Face Beauty and Stylist Academy is dedicated to helping you master this art. Next, we discussed single-use products and tools. Remember, some tools need to be disposed of after a single use. It's not just about maintaining high-quality service, but also ensuring the safety and hygiene of your clients. Speaking of hygiene, it's not just about your tools and products. It's also about you, your client, and your workspace. Always maintain appropriate hygiene throughout the beauty service. Wear gloves, use a face mask, and make sure your client is aware of your hygiene practices. Lastly, we talked about our clean studio policy. Your workspace is a reflection of your professionalism. Ensuring your studio is sanitized from corner to corner is paramount, especially in the beauty industry. Now it's your turn to get involved. We'd love to hear your thoughts on today's session. Do you have questions about the topics we covered? Or perhaps you have a suggestion for a topic you'd like us to address in a future video. Leave a comment below and join the conversation. Stay tuned for more such informative sessions from My Face Beauty and Stylist Academy. Until next time, keep shining.